Hi, so in this video I will show quite simply how to adjust a level run in Infinity. Infinity supports uh, data from the DNA 03 uh, series and also from the LS15 in both the XML format or GSI. So you just drag and drop that data, that data into Infinity. And to actually process it, we have to go into our inspector tool and browse for the tab for level. And here I have a few data sets. You can see initially off the back, you have access to the longitudinal profile uh, on which if you can interrogate each height for each of the points that have been surveyed. But also if you select, go, you can browse through the level runs. And if you select one of them, you can go right click and you can adjust set level run. So let's do that. There's a whole tutorial available in Infinity, in Infinity on, how to, on how to do this, so I won't go through much detail. Um, this is more about showing what it can be done in a nice, simple A to Z workflow. So in this case, I won't uh, apply any staff corrections, mainly because I don't have access to them. But if you do know what's the expansion coefficient and the calibration temperature for your in our staff level, which should be on the calibration report for the, for the staff. You can type those in and then I will go for next. This gives you access to your um, level book sheet, as it were, where you can also potentially change the start and end point for your uh, for your runs if you want to maybe some do some adjustments um, in terms of the uh, coordinates from which you started or ended but i'll show how to manage the coordinates in a different video and then we go for next you can see here that this was actually a very good level run disclosure of zero so this level staff has a not point uh a tenth of a millimeter over 100 meters distance either way from the from the shots so i'm not expecting a lot of deviations here and once you complete, you'll get a green tick on the level run, which has just been adjusted, such as that. And from here, you can, again, right-click and produce a level report related to that line only, in this case. Okay, which then, which then can be saved. I want to overwrite it. Uh, no, I want to... A different name. Um, commonly requested would be if we can report on multiple lines all at once, which the answer would be yes. So you just go uh, like in Microsoft Excel where you can shift select multiple lines. And if you select multiple lines and when you produce a report, you can then save it uh, with those several lines. So and three, four, five would be this one. So as it's saving, you can see that. I'm actually I have actually the reports for all of those lines over there as well. Okay, so that was it. Very simple. Hope you like it, and I hope you have a great day.